Hello my lovely friends and welcome back to A Drill and a Dream. It is another exciting and beautiful day here at the house and I'm hoping to be able to get some work done today but I wanted to show you kind of where we're at so far. There has been some more work done at the house since I have videoed it so I want to catch you up. So as you can see we're in the storage unit bedroom right now. Um, I'm not sure if this was done yet or not. Um, but all of this the corner is done and this uh, closet is also partially done this wall is done and this area here but this wall is not done yet because we're gonna have to be using some planks over the uh, stairs to get the ceiling there but it looks amazing for sure for sure and let's see moving along to the other bedroom lots of work was done here actually it's honestly very nearly finished except for this wall and the opposite wall. But the ceiling is all done. And it looks really nice. This wall we still have to do, but the ceiling's all done over here. And this little area is very exciting for me. The closet is like all finished, I believe. And it looks so nice and put together. It almost looks like a real room. So the plan for this closet, if you've forgotten, is this area that jets out because we have the little jet out, jet out, this jets in, that jets out in the bathroom. But I'm going to have um, shelves, shelving all the way up the top for different things, shoes, uh, baskets, stuff like that, in the middle. And then on the one side it's going to be just one taller rod for dresses, and then on the other side, I don't know which side, I don't really care, it's going to be... Uh, two rods for shorter things like shirts or whatever and then I'll probably have a uh, shelf going all the way across is what I'm thinking and then this is going to be two bifold doors but it looks so very nice and completed I mean obviously it's not completed but you know what I mean it looks amazing this wall's all done too so yeah lots of progress and today we will make some more progress as we continue to sheetrock up here. But we did get a bunch more sheetrock delivered, a big load. So we have more because we're very nearly, there's like two more full ones upstairs. And so we'll have to use a few more of these upstairs, but mostly it's, it's um, we're going to be moving on to downstairs eventually. And then I also got some uh, of this mold resistant stuff. Some's upstairs, some is downstairs. And hidden behind here heavy is a cement board so the cement board is going to go in the shower upstairs and I believe on the floors upstairs in the bathroom and then also I guess all the floors down here in the addition are gonna have to be cement board also because those are gonna have tile on them and I, I believe that anywhere that has tile is gonna have cement board underneath so that's the plan there. Um, another slight change that I made is in this bedroom. So initially I was going to have um, cabinets built in over here, you know, and it was going to make it the same, like the same height wall on both sides. And my main reason for doing that was just because I didn't know if it would look weird. Like it's not like I desperately wanted those cabinets. It was more, the main thing was really more of making the the wall uniform and making it the same height on both sides because I I remember telling you guys about this that I just didn't know if it was gonna look funky. That being said, I took one look at this wall, this room, sheetrocked like it is, and I was like, I don't think it looks funky. I think it just builds character. It also makes the room quite a bit bigger. So my new thought is that I actually want to have bookshelves on this wall. So this entire wall is bookshelf. Either just the wall is going to be bookshelf or I'm going to have the bookshelf come around the corner here. So it's like almost like, and then we'd have like a chair here. So it's almost like a little library nook. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have it like that or just have just the wall. So what I'm going to do over here, we just decided this, is um, I'm going to take this wall out. It's just here because this is where the uh, cabinet was going to be. But I'm going to take this out, it's not like supporting anything or whatever. So then this desk 
is just going to be, because I'm going to have a desk in this little nook, but it's not going to be so much of a nook anymore. It's going to be more open. Obviously, the ceiling still is different here, but it makes it less tight in this spot. So what I'm thinking now is taking these three things out, and then we'll just sheetrock straight up and around. And we did move the outlet that was going to go down into the cabinets. It's now on the wall there. So I like that idea. I think it'll be nice, and I think it'll make the room more spacious. stairway. that's going across is just going to be on this side? The, what, huh? the plank that's going across is just going to be here? Yeah, we're going across this way. Couple oh, that way. way. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Couple that way. So this whole wall it can be done? Yeah, do this wall and do the other side. I think just, just the gotcha. out back there. Okay, I was thinking the other way. That looks really nice. some snow.
head home. I wanted to show you the final product of what we got accomplished today. I may possibly um, come back later this evening and work a little bit more <clears throat> on some of the sheetrock walls, but we'll see. I don't know if I will or if I'll film it or if I'll just show you the product after. But anyway, I will show you what Jay and I got accomplished. So I'm loving all of these lines. Something about a nice sheetrock line. Obviously, it's going to look better, but like even jet outs and stuff. I don't know why. I love them. I love nice sheetrock. And of course, it will... Woo! Falling. Of course, it'll look so nice when it's all mudded and taped and stuff. But So, basically, in this room, all that's left is this wall here. And this wall here, which I may work on tonight, but the closet area is all done. As you saw before, it just looks so nice. I just want to show you and show you and show you. It's amazing. So the hallway, the ceiling isn't done yet, so I didn't do all the way up to the top, but we got like basically, here's the look from coming up the stairs. There are walls and they look fantastic. So don't forget, friends, that above the door here, I have that stained glass, like the window that was part of the stained glass window in the bay window in the front of the house that Jay made into just like a perfect size to fit above the bathroom up here, which I think will be cool. It'll give a little bit more light to the hallway, perhaps. We do have all the cement board and the mold resistant um, sheetrock for this room downstairs so that's a coming but the hallway is looking like it is getting formed into a beautiful thing and come on in here okay so the wall is out here which is new and exciting and then this room is basically also all done except for this area here um the pipes here the pipe here needs to attach to that. All of these need to be glued, and I think that is why this area is being held off for the moment, but all that sweet stuff is coming soon to a YouTube video near you, or at least to see the final product. But anyway, so the rest of this room is done. Oh, it looks so nice, and, and big news for the day is, as you saw, Jay was working on this closet, so this whole wall is very nearly done other than the little top but the tops can be done until the ceilings are done so it's the whole thing but let's step into the closet okay so this side is going to be a bar with shelves on it um which is going to be amazing and this is all going to be floor to ceiling shelving and you can fit so much stuff there so that's the long and short of it. Another exciting sheet rocking day at the house. Things are coming together so beautifully. This is by far the best stage yet. I mean, to see this transformation is just like way cooler than all the other things. Um, no offense to them. They're great too, but this is fantastic. And quite frankly, I think it's pretty enjoyable to do um, because, you know, it's like a puzzle. You make the pieces and it's not absurdly difficult like it's not that heavy or unfortunate so overall I think it's a nice job to do compared to many of the other awful 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 jobs we've had here at the house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in next time to continue to see the exciting progress. I know I'm excited and I feel confident that you probably are too if you've made it all the way to the end of this video. So I will see you next time on A Drill and a Dream, and if you are new, as always, check out the My Fix Rubber Journey playlist to see how the house looked on day one and how far we've come. We've come so far. So I'll see you guys later.